Hey, what's up guys? Coach Bobby here. It's late. It's late Friday night. I just got me a uh, quick workout in. Uh, thought I would chime in with you guys, check in real quick. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm making a dinner. I'm making a dinner for my, uh, my college buddies, my college uh, roommates, my college teammates. So I do an annual holiday uh, soul food, mostly soul food holiday traditional meal. Uh, normally I do it between Christmas and New Year's, uh, but because of scheduling conflicts with our kids and with our, you know, my friends and I, we had to move it back a few times and now it's gonna be uh, in January. So it's the same kind of a, a, di a dinner, uh, full fixings. I do it in honor of my mom who passed away in, 90, in 98. Um, and I carry on a tradition of making a lot, a lot of food. So I'm talking collard greens, uh, black eyed peas. Uh, normally I do a turkey. Uh, today I'm doing barbecue chicken. Uh, I, I'm doing a ham. I'm doing mashed potatoes, potatoes all gratin, uh, seven up cake, candy yams, uh, you name it, we're doing it. All right, so um, up all night cooking. I actually started earlier than usual, so uh, I'm gonna be done and able to go to bed for a few hours before tomorrow's uh, boot camp class, my Saturday boot camp that I normally join. Um, but um, had, a, had a, a little free time, um, so I decided to get a quick workout in, all right? And this way I'm not really forced uh, to work out tomorrow if I'm too tired from staying up late. Um, and I have a rule, you guys who know me know my rule, I have a three day rule. So I don't go more than three days without training, without exercising, without grinding. And that rule goes back to 1990. Uh, August 15th, 1990 uh, was the last time I had more than three days off from training, from exercising. Um, so that rule, I've been, I've been carrying that rule for 30 years and I never break it, never ever break it, uh, no matter what. So I worked out New Year's Day, uh, that was Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if I didn't go today, that means tomorrow I would have had to work out in order to not break my rule. So I uh, had some free time. Uh, my daughter went to a basketball game. My son went to a basketball game. Um, so um, I had uh, the mashed potatoes were on. Uh, my cake was done. Uh, my potatoes au gratin were, were done. Uh, and so I was just, you know, pretty much freed up. So I decided to get a quick workout in. I did a 25 to 5 workout. Um, that is, you know, you, you create a sequence of exercises. Um, and then you do 25 of all of them and then you do 20, and then 15, and then 10, and then five. So I did a little back and chest, uh, mini circuit first, rows and push-ups, get my, my chest warmed up. And then I did a uh, uh, TRX, TRX, uh, dumbbell flies, uh, TRX again, and dumbbell presses. And then I ended off with some uh, hamstrings, straight leg deadlifts, and squats, so 25, 25, 20, 20, 15, 15. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, comments. Uh, but basically, you know, a nice quick workout, all big muscle groups, back, chest, legs. You always wanna hit those, no matter what. If you have time to do biceps, triceps, shoulders, glutes, calves, that's great. But when you compress for time um, and you wanna make sure you always get a solid foundational workout, always do the big muscles, right? Back, chest, legs. So I did a back and chest together, and then I did legs together, all right? So the key is, guys, is to, to find and make time to work out, right? People always say, I don't have time to work out. You have time. It might not be the most convenient time for you all the time to work out, but you have time, right? If you tell me you don't have time, but yet you're all caught up on all your shows, all the housewife shows, all the bachelor shows, all the Netflix shows, if you're all caught up on those, then you have some time to, to get in shape, to exercise, to be a better version of yourself. It's about a relationship, guys. I love my health, I love my body, I love the way I wanna look and feel enough to make time for it. Just like I love my wife and my kids enough to make time for them. So if you love your health and you wanna be in shape, and you wanna be fit, you will find and make time for it. It might not be convenient, it might not be at the perfect time when you are at, at your best, but you still can find and make time to get in shape, all right? Right now it's 11.30 uh, on a Friday night and I had time, so I got a quick one in, 
All right, it took about an hour, and I did back and chest and legs. Um, and, and now tomorrow at my boot camp, if I want to get in, I can. If I don't want to get in, if I'm tired from being up all night cooking, then I don't have to, right? Because I've, I fulfilled uh, my rule of not going past three days, all right? So um, nice and short, you know, find time, guys. It's seven days in a week. Usually we have to include a weekend day in order to win the week, right? If you take the whole week as seven, right? A seven game series, if you will, like in basketball or in, 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 in uh, baseball, it's a seven game series, right? If you skip both weekend days, you're already down 0-2 in the series. So now you got five days left. You have to win four of those days in the week in order to win. What's up, Michael? What's up, uh, Fatima? So you almost have to do a weekend day, a Saturday or a Sunday, to have a chance that week to get in shape, right? Otherwise, you're behind the eight ball and have to win four out of five days during the week in order to win that week, to win four out of seven. So uh, have the right mindset, guys. I mean, being healthy, being fit, you know, it's not easy, right? Again, I, t I tell you all the time, our ancestors had no choice, right? And so I try to think like them. I try to think like I'm a 300 warrior, right? Or I'm a Spartan warrior, right? And, and what would they do? How would they live, right? So, you know, our ancestors had to go hunt and had to gather and had to, had to fast and had to eat only when they were hungry, had to hunt only the things that, that will fulfill them. They didn't, you know, hunt extra food. And so, um, you know, think like that, you know, and if you do, you can still have fun. Tomorrow I'm going to have a lot, a lot of food, right? I knew that. I know that. I knew that for a, a, a few weeks, right? When you have a party or a gathering or lunch, you normally know ahead of time that's coming. So plan accordingly. Get a workout in. Make sure you wash your carb intake beforehand. Maybe fast a little bit. Maybe eat only protein, healthy fats going into that. Minimize your carbs. So when you go to that event or that party or that lunch, you don't have to watch yourself so much, right? So tomorrow I made all the food. I'm not going to not eat what I made. So I'm going to have the cake. I'm going to have the greens. I'm going to have the, the bread. I'm going to have all that stuff, you know, the potatoes, right? Because I prepared for it. Right, I fasted, I worked out, I made sure that my body was in a position to not gain body fat um, over the weekend, you know, even with that heavy meal. All right, so find time to work out, right? Find time for you, right? Right now, you're probably out there drinking, having a good time, which is okay, but if you did, if, if, if it's okay if you did things ahead of time to prepare for that, or if tomorrow you're gonna make up for it. Right? Don't be selfish. Don't have it be all about you and what feels good to you. Give your body something that it needs, that it wants to be, to be healthy, to be fit, and, and to feel good. All right? So have a good weekend, you guys. Try to get some exercise in. Right? Uh, as always, you know, ping me, uh, text me, uh, shoot me a message on Facebook uh, with any questions about, about workouts, about eating, about fasting, about ketones, um, and I'll do my best to help you. All right, guys? Have a good weekend. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, be healthy, be safe, and be better than you were yesterday. All right, love you. Bye-bye.